All right, what's going on, everybody? Uh, today, I am going to show you, or I'm just going to sh- walk you through uh, how to flash Alpha 19, which is the Sense UI ROM for uh, the Nexus One. What I've done already is I've backed up using Titanium Backup, uh, which backs up data and all that stuff. Uh, so I will batch, uh, show you here. Store all apps with data is what I'm going to do when I get onto that app, or onto that ROM, onto Alpha uh, 19. Um, and I already have Alpha 19 on my uh, SD card, uh, and I'm ready to go. So what I'm going to do is boot into recovery using this cool app called Quick Boot right there. And it gives you three options, reboot, recovery, and bootloader. So I'm just going to click recovery, and it will boot us into recovery. The reason I'm making this video is because people always ask, how do I flash this? How do I flash that? Uh, how do I get this? Here you go. Uh, first, most comments I get, will this work on my device? No, this only works on the Nexus One. So hold those comments, please. Doesn't work on the Droid, doesn't work on the MyTouch, doesn't work on the G1, doesn't work on the Hero. Hero, you already have sense, so why did you want to flash this anyway? Uh, so what we're going to do is, first we're going to create a Nandroid backup, which is backup and restore. So we're going to do just Nand backup, press the trackball. And I do have the Care Bear on there. I just wanted a little change, you know. So, all right, and now that we are successfully backed up, we're going to just press volume down and go back to our recovery screen. Um, and then we're going to wipe our phone so wipe and we're going to wipe data factory reset which should be quick so you can see that's already done then we're going to go to ext we're going to wipe that just because now that i have ext i'm going to have to start wiping that because for apps sd on cyanogen which i like uh, and then something i normally do i don't know if you necessarily have to do it uh so it might freeze up a little bit just give it a minute uh, I'm going to go to Partition SD and Repair EXT. I'm not really sure what this does, but other people have told me to do that. Uh, so I just do that anyway. Uh, now the ROM we're going to be flashing is Alpha 19, and it is uh, it's a port. It's a 2.1 uh, Sense UI. Uh, it's by Modaco or Modico or Modeco, whoever you want to say. Uh, same guy we're talking about. His name's Paul. So we'll go with Paul. So this is Alpha 19 by Paul. Um, I think that's a better name. So we're going to go back. And then we're going to go flash zip from SD card. Uh, we're going to find Alpha 19. It should look like that. Alpha 19. Uh, we're going to hit that. And we're going to flash it. And it is a rather big file. Uh... It is about 130 megs, I believe. Uh, let me just check here on the computer. It is 130.2 megabytes. Uh, so that is a hefty file, hefty ROM there. Uh, but So if it takes a while, don't give up your hope. It's not broken. I won't, I won't drop my phone this time, don't worry. Um, so I'm going to cut a little bit of this out uh, just because it's going to take quite a while. All right, now that we are... Uh, flashed as you can see all we're going to do now is press uh reboot and it will reboot uh the rom hopefully that's what our aim is uh hopefully i didn't leave out anything i tend to do that in videos but hopefully i didn't do that here um this is a rather cool rom that i'm kind of off and on with um i don't know i sometimes like it sometimes don't uh it's a good rom i mean it's a good rom it's not alpha material at all it should be at least beta uh but there are a couple glitches like there's a camera glitch where the flash flashes before the actual shutter happens so if, you, if you're using the flash it's not going to work i mean it'll flash but it's not going to do have any effect on the picture at all uh so that's kind of a bummer but um other than that it's not really that glitchy or buggy at all um you're gonna see this for a while as on any rom if you flash it the first time it will take a minute to boot up so i'm just going to oh by the way here's what you're gonna see a little htc quietly brilliant sorry that was a little spoiler but there you go i'm just gonna i'm gonna 
stop this and wait until it boots up so you don't have to wait that whole time. All right, so we are at it, – or it just booted up, so we're at the lock screen right now. So we're just going to pull it down, and we instantly get a force close. What is this? Wave secure beta. Okay, whatever. Uh, so we're just going to go through here quickly. Uh, we know how to use this already. Let's uh, – whatever, sure. Both automatically sync data. Let's not connect to a Wi-Fi network right now. Sure. Let's skip all this. We'll skip all that. Um, sure. Sure, sure, sure. And then we get an HTC screen and a loading screen, which we always like, you know? You can expect that on Sans, you know? Sans is quite the heavy operating system. Well, it's Android, but... Sans is quite the heavy... It's heavy, okay? You get what I'm saying. So instantly we are greeted with a little notification that we can do that and go to different screens, which is cool. And it goes away once you do that. Uh, so here we are. We got Sense right there. It says, register with uh, Wave Secure Beta to protect your phone. Uh, so I'm guessing this is just a little... This phone may be lost or stolen. That's Okay. Is that an application in here? It is. Is it just telling me that it might be stolen? Is that steal? Oh no, it's on another connected server. Okay, uh, you're. I guess you're not going to have any uh, data connection, so we're just going to go into wireless and networks. Going to go into mobile network. Uh, why isn't that working? Our APNs on. I guess not. So we're going to have to add an APN, uh, which is kind of a drag. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't care. I, let me just see one thing if we can. Mobile networks, uh, network operators, select automatically, register on network. Okay, uh, I guess that didn't work. So we're going to have to enter our own APN, which is kind of a drag, but whatever. Uh, so that's how to flash that. Um, then you just back up with titanium, or you just restore with titanium, and all your apps should be there. Uh, smooth as ever. Nice and smooth. I like making sound effects. All right, I will see you guys in the next video. You can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash carlsgraves, and I will see you guys later.